When I say the word bass, most people would likely picture a largemouth or a smallmouth bass. But today we're talking about a completely different family, the temperate basses. Now just because these two fish have the word bass in their name does not necessarily indicate that they are even closely related. The truth is that the term bass is used as a common name for fish across many families in both freshwater and saltwater. However, the temperate basses that we'll be discussing in this video are known as the true basses. These fish belong to the family Moronidae, which includes four species. And while several of these species can hybridize, there is one major hybrid stocked by the millions each year, and we'll be going over that fish as well. Temperate bass are loved by anglers because they are generally easy to catch and will strike just about anything. They fight very hard for their size and are often caught in mass numbers due to their schooling nature. Now before we get into the individual species, I just want to make you aware that this video is one of many in a series that I'm doing detailing the species of North American freshwater fish. So if you're interested in learning about sunfish, sturgeon, darters, red horses, pike minnow, or many many others, please make sure to subscribe and check out those videos to learn about all these amazing fish. Now when you look at the species in the family Moronidae, it's pretty easy to visually tell that these fish are all closely related. They generally have a silver to white coloration with horizontal striping and a pointed head. They have two dorsal fins, the front dorsal generally containing nine sharp spines with a single spine on the rear dorsal fin. They have three spines in the front of the anal fin and one spine on the back end of each gill cover. White bass are a medium-sized, deep-bodied temperate bass with an average length of 10 to 15 inches or 25 to 38 centimeters. They have a typical weight of about one to two pounds or half a kilogram to a kilogram. Their coloration is silvery white with a slightly darker gray back. However, they can sometimes be darker, almost a charcoal color. They have four to seven horizontal stripes, but many are faint and may break or fade along the body. Looking into the mouth of a white bass, you can see that there is just a single tooth patch in the center of the lower mouth. The native range of the white bass is primarily the Mississippi River Basin, but over the years it has been stocked in reservoirs and bodies of water all over the continent, giving this fish a very broad modern range. White bass are strong schooling fish and highly migratory within freshwater systems. They make spring spawning runs upstream into tributaries, often gathering in large, dense groups. They are aggressive feeders of small fish, invertebrates, or really anything that's moving that's small enough to fit in their mouth. Like all of the temperate bass species, white bass are a very visual fish, using those big eyes to find prey and strike aggressively. White bass populations are generally stable and the fish is listed as a species of least concern. Striped bass are the largest of the temperate basses and these fish commonly reach 20 to 30 inches or about 50 to 100 centimeters. They often weigh in the 10 to 30 pound or 4 to 13 kilogram range. They are very similar to white bass in color and pattern. They are bright silver with a darker back and have seven to eight bold stripes. But unlike the white bass, these stripes are largely unbroken and run all the way to the tail. They have a longer, more slender body than the white bass and an even pointier head with smaller eyes. When looking in the mouth of a striped bass, it has two tooth patches in contrast to the single tooth patch of the white bass. Striped bass are apex predators feeding on shad, herring, mackerel, smelt, and other mid-sized bait fish. True striped bass are an anadromous species, meaning that they migrate from saltwater to freshwater to spawn, filling coastal river systems during their spawn similar to salmon. There are native populations found all along the Atlantic coast of the US and Canada, as well as the Gulf Coast and its tributaries. Though modernly, striped bass have been introduced along the Pacific coast, and there are hundreds of landlocked populations across the entire US, ranging from the southwest all the way to the Great Lakes. Striped bass have experienced several population collapses historically due to overfishing and habitat destruction. Today they are managed intensively and are considered a species of least concern, though some regional areas along the Atlantic coast are under pressure and require strict harvest regulations. The wiper, also known as hybrid bass or hybrid striped bass, 
is a man-made hybrid between a female striped bass and a male white bass. Both appearance and behavior is a good mix of both parent species. Wiper aren't as slender as striped bass, but they're not quite as compressed as the white bass. In size, they are right in between the two species, generally being 15 to 25 inches and 3 to 10 pounds. They have silver sides with broken, uneven, horizontal stripes. More distinct than white bass, but less continuous than striped bass. Similar to the striped bass, wipers have two tooth patches in their lower mouth. In general, wiper are going to be much bigger than your average white bass, but much deeper bodied than striped bass. Similar to both parent species, wipers are fast swimming, open water predators that track schools of shad and other bait fish. They show strong schooling tendencies and often push bait to the surface creating boils, of which many anglers target. Their behavior greatly mimics striped bass, but they remain in freshwater and do not migrate long distances. Wipers do not reproduce reliably in the wild, so their distribution depends on ongoing stocking programs. And because they are a man-made fish, they do not have a native range, but occur widely across reservoirs in the U.S. Essentially, these are all hatchery produced and do not form self-sustaining wild populations. So because of that, they don't have a formal conservation status. Because their numbers are easily controlled, wiper are widely used as a management tool to control bait fish and unwanted species. Yellow bass are the smallest of all the temperate bass species, with an average length of 6 to 10 inches, or 15 to 25 centimeters. Yellow bass are unique among this family in that they have a golden yellow tint, especially along the lower sides. This makes them much easier to distinguish when compared to the other Muranids. Like other species, they still have the 7 to 8 horizontal stripes, but the stripes are sharper and more distinct than the white bass stripes. When compared side by side, they also tend to have a smaller mouth than white bass do. Yellow bass form schooling groups similar to white bass and feed on insects, crustaceans, and small fish. They often thrive in backwaters, oxbows, and slow flowing river sections. Like white bass, they are found primarily in the Mississippi River drainage, but they have a much smaller introduced range not being found nearly as broadly. Yellow bass are stable and somewhat widespread, listed as a species of least concern. Although called a perch, the white perch is actually a temperate bass. It is also quite small with an average length of 8 to 12 inches or 20 to 30 centimeters. White perch have a more uniform silvery coloration lacking the strong striping of the other species. Their body tends to be a bit deeper than the yellow bass. The identification of the species is much easier as the lack of stripes is usually a very clear indication that you're looking at a white perch. White perch are habitat generalists and can live in freshwater, brackish coastal waters, and even low salinity bays. They feed on small fish, eggs of other fish, insects, and crustaceans. They form in large schools and often become extremely abundant in reservoirs. Their tolerance for higher salinity levels gives them a fairly separate range from the white and yellow bass as they are found along much of the Atlantic coast. They have an introduced range of sparse areas throughout the inland U.S. White perch are also considered a species of least concern. In fact, in some regions, they have become invasive and compete with native species for food and spawning habitat. These temperate bass species, white bass, striped bass, yellow bass, and white perch, play an enormous ecological and recreational role across North America. Thanks for watching. I wish you luck on your next outing trying to catch these species. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.